This engine is old. Uh, it's from a 1970, so that would make it 44 years old. Plus, it's post-apocalyptic, and they're fighting zombies, and it's been through the ringer. So, in this case, this engine is really, 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 really weathered. few comments on that video yesterday thanks for those and uh, Eric had a good point as far as weathering up these so I'm gonna take some Vallejo natural iron oxide it's just kind of like a black pigment not totally black but sure is dark we're gonna dirty these up and then hit them with some dull coat again just to try to make them look filthy before they go back on the car Okay, so I want to try to get some wear and tear on this engine. I'm just going to try some uh, some foam chipping. Crack open this new chipping foam from Armor Farm. And I'm just going to rip off a piece of this. You can see the density of this stuff. It's really good really really good alright so I'm going to use this color you can also use this color which are pretty much the same color and uh, yeah now you can see see how that pulled out there kind of wet I really don't want that you want it to be more like that not too runny. So I'm going to pick up some paint, dab most of it off, and then just start poking around. I'm just going to gunk some of this engine grime color, which is kind of a dark brown color. Just kind of Wrap it all in there. So that was the entire session. That was, I don't know, 15 minutes high speed maybe. I cranked it down to fit that tune. So anyways, all I did, and you saw, like there's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing here. It's, I'm thinking I want it to be dirty. I want it to look like gunk and some dust and some gunk. And this is only the first round. So for everybody who wants to know exactly what products I use, I'm using like a dark umber, um, burnt umber pigment. Uh, I'm using a light sienna pigment. And I also had like a red ochre, just a little bit. And then I've got the uh, engine grime, which is just a really kind of dark, dark browny grayish kind of color. Rust streaks, which has a bit of, quite a bit of red in it. I used a little bit of light rust streaks, which only a little bit though, that stuff's so vibrant. And I'm just cramming it in there, and then, when I got done, and I didn't put this on camera, I hit it with hot on the hair dryer for like two minutes. And what that does is all those pigments, instead of it just being a sludge, they all kind of come back to their color. You see how that's... Once all that enamel evaporates off there, the pigments are allowed to come back out. Then I went upstairs and filled my face full of Doritos and had a smoke. Okay, I'm going to add another layer of stuff. I'm going to use some Vallejo acrylic washes, which are uh, available in all kinds of different colors. Shades of brown, grays, rust colors. I'm going to start with some dark gray. 
this stuff is very cool too. It's acrylic. It's just thin acrylic basically. And we're going to thin it up even a little bit more with some of that. Okay, there's where I got so far and I'm going to have to stop just because it's time to go to work. A really, really, really filthy engine. Yeah, so that's where I'm going to leave this video. I have to get to work like everybody else. Next week, uh, I think I'm going to take two weeks off, so I should be able to wrap this up. I'd like to get this done. I'd like to get this car done before Christmas. I'll have to get a couple of good days of really solid building in, in order to pull that off, but I'm going to try to get it done before Christmas. So I'll leave you with that. Thanks. God bless. I hope Tuesday goes great for you, and uh, I'll see you again soon. I'll be back here later. So, yeah, that's it. Later. Bye.